Yo, the stars were strange, just like God holes Had to take it further, I ain't settling for condos Had the secret sauce, so I blew up like my dope burger Ernie, watch I fucking learn ya I don't think I'm hot, I just know the dope burners Like it never did Hey, what's up guys? Signs of my eyes about to go down here in about 45 minutes But it's the day after Thanksgiving Got the E30 out of storage And I'm just gonna give you guys a um, Like a walk around video and Everything that's done in my E30 since it's the end of the year and then next year I'll do another one, you know, and then maybe, you know, year after that do another one, but All right, so here's my 89 E30. It's a 325i with M20 motor And um, I've had it for going on. It's gonna be 10 years in uh, January, so I will be doing like a 10 year um, I don't know appreciation video or whatever, but um, I just wanted to go over everything just to give you guys an idea of what's everything that's done to it and uh, just cover a lot of stuff that people ask a lot on the videos and everything so um, let's just get into the exterior the paints original obviously it's not really the best condition but uh, let's cover the first things on the front first thing I want to cover is the uh, the hood brawl I got this off of eBay like two years ago um, it doesn't have the cutout for the the roundel so I just ended up buying it for like $50 and I like the way it looks and it protects your hood and everything but mostly because I like the way it looks um, also I just got these not too long ago I got the Euro grills which uh, if you don't know just this little eyebrow across the top the US one doesn't have it so it just looks more aggressive but um also I have black kidney grills um, the lip on the front is a Rieger infinity lip so it makes the car look pretty low, even though it's already been ripped off about four times. That's why it's not really tight. It's a eBay one because the car being this low and the lip only being, you know, two inches off the ground. I'm not trying to mess up a $300 lip because I'm not that stupid. But um, the next thing I want to cover is pretty much the, uh, I guess the most noticeable thing about the car since it's red. It has uh, gold mesh wheels on it. These are ESM 007, so they are rep wheels. Rep wheels, I can never say it. Um, can't really afford real, real wheels right now, but uh, that'll be something I'll be doing probably Maybe not this year coming up, but uh next year I might get the wheels next year and start building them or whatever But um for now I have these the front is 16 by 8 with a 20 offset wrapped in Yokohama S drive 195 45 And then the back is a 16 by 9 Which has a 3 inch lip the front has a 2 inch lip and um I have a 205 45 16 so the stretch on it's decent you can see the lip of the wheel so that's kind of what I wanted but the fitment's super tight so I do have um, I do have spacers on the car so that's why the fitment is the way it is they are 42 driver's side spacers I have 10 mils on the back and 18 mils on the front have no complaints about them no shakes or wobbles or anything so I greatly recommend them for a spaces for E30 and they're not very expensive so that's a really good thing next thing I want to cover is the uh, rear spoiler which is a E28 MTEC spoiler well, it's not too dark the only difference between this one and the E30 MTEC one is the E28 sticks past because the, um, the body is bigger on the E28 of course and it has these little ridges on the back which you probably can't see it has little ridges on the back so that's pretty much the only difference it's the same wing um, I got this one for eBay for about 160 bucks they usually go for about I don't know 350 so also on the back I do have the euro plate filler I'm trying to keep out of the wind it's kind of windy out today I have the rear plate filler back here got that from a friend in Australia um, as far as the outside I think that's pretty much it. I shadow line my trim, it needs to be redone. Oh, I also have a Depot Euro Smileys. I'll try to lighten them up so you can see the smiley in there, but they're smoked with uh, some tent film, two layers, so they're smoked. They're they didn't come that way, I didn't buy the smoked ones, I just bought the regular ones. Pat them for about, uh, let's see, five years, no complaints with them. I also have Depot Smoke Turn Signal Lights or turn signal lenses or whatever and then the obvious uh, Euro plate that's on the front as far as the 
that's on the outside. I'm pretty sure that's it. Oh, I also forgot uh, about the suspension. I do have BC Racing coilovers, so that's how they sit. The front, I can go down probably another, I think it's about a half inch. And then the back is already on the spring, so it's just on the spring, no adjuster. Get out of the sunlight. So that's how the fitment is in the back. But I uh, love these coils. Definitely would recommend these to any E30 that wants to step up their suspension game. All right, so I want to cover this uh, steering wheel. It's the uh, Walnut Gold Jack wheel. It has the gold spokes. Probably can't really tell from the video and the sun flare. But uh, it's on a Momo hub. Would recommend that one, of course. The interior used to be, I think it was like a, it was a tan, like the carpet or whatever fabric. It now has. This is my second set of seats. It has the all black vinyl that I got out of a, uh, a yard car for I think it's $100 for the entire set. Pretty much mint. The only problem is um, on this side, the bolster of course. So I can either get that fixed, but I'm planning on getting a racing seat. Then also right down here. So that's that. Um, the back seats are all clean. As far as the door panels, I also got black vinyl ones, which I got from a different yard car. I think it was $40 for the whole set, which I did an episode a long time ago when I went down to Louisville, Kentucky to get the uh, all the parts. also want to cover the radio. It's a uh, Kenwood Exelon. It's a KD, let's see if we can zoom in. KDC X300. Really good radio. I think it has like a seven band EQ on it. So it's really nice. Um, so I want to cover the speakers that I'm running. I have MB Quart reference five and a quarters up here. I got the little thing down here, which isn't very smart, but it's the only really place I could think about putting it. And then I have the tweeter up here on the door. So I have those for the front. These are the Emicore Onyx 6x9s. I got them on like Clarence on eBay. They're, I think they were $50 or something. So that's what I'm running for the audio. I'm gonna be changing these out next year with a whole different audio build. But uh, that's gonna be its own separate video and everything, so. All right, as far as the engine bay, I have a gear logistic strut bar. It's powder coated, same color as the valve cover, which is laser gold by Prismatic Powders online. So it sort of clips of what it looks like. I have a semi-gloss black manifold. Uh, let's see what else. I have black silicone hoses from um, Island Engineering. Really like them. The fit was pretty good. Also, I have DDM tuning, um, 35 watt, 6K. Uh, HIDs from HIDs. Next year I'm planning on getting a new exhaust, but that's after the five speed gets swapped in because I have to have manual transmission to be able to do that. Uh, I think that's pretty much it for the engine bay. But I also wanted to cover um, just what exhaust is on it since I get that question a lot. It has stock headers, it has magna flow down pipes, and um, cat it's a direct fit from like a advanced auto or whatever and then it is a magnaflow Y pipe which brings the two to one and then it has a three inch pipe that goes all the way back from that Y pipe to the fucking muffler but the muffler is just an eBay one that is now falling apart so like I said next year um, the car is gonna get swapped because the transmission is going out so five speeds going in um, getting new headers and whole new exhaust system but um that'd be a separate video but i just wanted to throw that clip in there also throw some uh, exhaust clips in so you guys know what it sounds like So I'm pretty sure that's everything that's done to the car. I want to do one of these next year, um, like I said, but this is pretty much just a video so you guys can know what's all done to the car. And um, I'll no reference this video back at this time. But um, like I said, I'm getting side skirts this winter. Um, I'm gonna be getting rid of the rear lip while keeping it in storage and then getting a different front balance. Installing my AC Schnitzer rear balance. Doing all the body work, that's before the car gets wrapped, which is, um, you know, next spring sometime. I'm pretty sure I covered everything as far as parts. I don't really think I've missed anything. 
Um, getting new fenders next year. Like I said, all the body work so we can get wrapped. Um, might do different seats. Hopefully this fucking wind isn't fucking with me. But uh, that's pretty much it. I just wanted to throw this little video for you guys so you guys had just uh, more content to watch and uh, just so I can look back on this, you know, come next year or whatever, just to say, just to see where I was at at that time. So, uh, thanks guys for watching. As always, if you guys enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Um, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave all that crap down um, in the description and on the screen. Um, check out all the other videos I've done this year. It's been a good year for the E30. Next year is going to be even better year for the E30. I already have some stuff in motion right now. So, hopefully, you guys like the video. Hopefully, I didn't ramble too much. But um, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next one.